like Richard Payne, Gary, Neil. Here we are, got the Audio Technica mic. Got to go and test it before I set up for my stream today. It's Wednesday the 3rd of June, halfway pretty much through the year. So I've got to test it, see what's what. If you would like a tie, they're men's and women's, unisex, then I've got plenty. As you can see, different types. Christmas ties, here, here. Cricket ones, all sorts over like here. I'm just going to go through these ties and have a look, see if they're on my store because I've got plenty of these. I'm not sure if half of these are. So I sold this Stanford tie rack tie for eight pounds. It got me checking through all my items on my store. My ties are 28 here. I have 30 overall in this box over here. Different types of ties, as you can see, novelty, cricket ties, sports, children's type ones, Christmas ties, all sorts. In these bags, just to make sure they don't get dusty or anything um, puts holes in them. I'm checking out these because I was like, are these listed on my store? Because they're, I, I reckon some of them are about a year old. I sell a tie once every three months. I need to update the listing as well, which is the best thing to do, update you, your listings. And when you're checking out your categories or doing a stock take, twice a month actually, stock take, or even just checking out certain categories, i.e. the ties. I found these two, a Cedarwood and State tie, and the Simpsons tie is not listed, so I've got to go through and list these, and go through all these, and check the category, check the listing, and update these. I have um, been buying ties for a long time, because they're good for funerals, weddings, novelty, I have Christmas ties, etc, sports, etc. It's 10 to 12, and as you can see, it's starting to spit with rain. A little bit of rain. We've had a couple of weeks of dry weather, quite warm. So it's quite needed. I think we're going to have a little thunderstorm later on, but we shall see. Now I'm just going to be doing some listings on eBay. Going to try and do five listings. But before I do, here's a tip for you. So if you've got drafting to do, listing to do, cleaning of items, etc. Then best to go through and do in one hour. Take an hour to do um, your listings. Take an hour to do drafts for your, for your listings. Take an hour to photograph, etc. Then it gives you time to sit down, have a bit of lunch, relax for an hour or so. It's basically easier to just do one hour increments for your eBay business or whatever platform you sell on. Do let me know in the comments below, do that, take an hour to do certain things or how you structure your day. So I've just had the hiking boots delivered back. I had to refund the money when the item came back, the hiking boots. I sent them a while ago a label, um, parcel to go for Hermes to put on the box, did bish bash bosh, I checked I got all one local to them and fair enough. But no, what do they do? Send it back, Royal Mail. They've been a right pain. I haven't said anything yet, fingers crossed, touch wood, all that. I think what they're trying to do is trying to scam me out of postage. I can forget that for a soldier, because I paid the postage already. Gave them the label, I can download an invoice from parcel to go So we see what happens. Cheeky so-and-sos. Just waiting for the new microphone, the Audio Technica microphone, to do a search for the Windows update, which will take a little while, but not too long. Then I'll go through StreamYard, see if it works. Here is the mic itself. Blue light. Ooh, wonder if it works okay. Who knows? Why is Facebook Marketplace so annoying? It's like idiots on there nine times out of ten. I use Spock buying and selling app in the UK. Yeah, you pay a bit more for your items, but it's easier to use. Facebook Marketplace, oh my god. I've had a few good pickups like the Only Fools and Horses VHS tape and the Danger Mouse um, stuff. Apart from that, it's just so annoying. You message people, 
20 or 30 people at a time. You get about five or six back. Half of them go, I don't want to post it. I don't want to do, don't do that. Put it on your listing then. Oh my life. Let me know down below if you had any dealings with Facebook Marketplace and have you got some good stuff. It's now 3.22. I've checked out the sound quality one-to-one -one, me in the non-existent chat because it's private, which is quality. And I had a guest in, Aid, who did that drinking stream. Thanks for popping in, appreciate that. Let's check the sound quality. It's 3.39, it's definitely raining. As you can see, the first bit of rain for a couple of weeks. Well, big bit anyway. And you can tell by the rain in the corners of the air. So a few days ago I picked up this Danger Mouse bundle from Facebook Marketplace for £10 the lot. Locally, about a five minute drive down the road. And we got the basically like new the Danger Mouse over your shoulder bag, Penfold. You've got the book, TV favourites, and another little book there, and your CD all sealed. It came in this box, which we will reuse. It's all been sorted out and put to one side for way over 24 hours. So not too bad for £10 on Facebook Marketplace. The good side of the marketplace. So here is my chat. Lots of people chatting in the side chat. Like Richard Payne, Gary, Neil and Chris Tyler and others. It's my Wednesday live at 8.30. So I'm going to end the vlog here. So thanks for watching the vlog. Do leave me a comment down below what you liked about the vlog, what you disliked, etc. Like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you next one. See you later guys. Have fun.